26 miles.
quite so. My old enemy still prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. I've even heard rumblings of rebellion. So, that old beast still wants to be king. Who is he talking about, Captain? Diabolos. <laughs> We better get started on our first workout, Christian. My enemy is Sam Captain. What's your favorite coffee, Chris? If that's what you prefer. How long have you been running training for this marathon? About five years, Pena. Will there be a lot of other runners? Runners from all over the world come to the Olympics. Maybe you ought to just watch the race this time. Can I try to get more experience? Stand by and watch the race? No way. I'm going for the gold. <laughs> Runners, take your mark, the race is just about to start. I am going to give my best and run with all my heart. I will not be afraid, I am practiced every day. And now it's time to move on, learn and work and sweat and pray. I'm going for gold, I'm running for the crown. I'm looking under Jesus, Satan tricks won't get me.
Bend those knees. Work those feet. Reach out with your hands. Don't take time to belly eh? Come on, Christian, get in shape. Oh, <laughs> 
please.
the more than a pack of hell. Get out before I bite your head off! It's all right, I'm coming, I'm coming already. Remember the plan. Thank you. 
up over yonder. Your pace is sure slowing down. Yeah, I reckon so. Feeling kind of lazy. Reminds me of song my mama used to sing to me. There's many stars in heaven. 
to the finish line and there's no one else in sight. He's not even breathing hard. What a fine runner! No! Come on! Hard on! Nobody's even close! Ten yards to go! Where's Chris? That's it! That's it! We have a winner!
about with so great a crowd of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. And let us run the pace with the rain, with patience, very sun set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. The things that thou hast heard of thee among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faith. play we just watched. You have noticed Christian used instructions from his father to get through that course. And we also have instructions from our Heavenly Father. We call it the King James Bible. This is the only book that recognizes sin and puts it in its place. From that book, God asks us to do something, and it's called the Gospel. So my question to you is, are you saved? And when I say that, I'm not asking if you're a member of a church, or you're a good person, or I got baptized. I am asking, did you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, what He did on Calvary? He died for your sins on the cross. Now, you have to recognize that we're all sinners. I'm a sinner, you're a sinner, the people that you meet are all sinners. And you have to deal with that sin. So, and to deal with that sin is you have to repent. Repentance is a change of mind. I do not want to go back to that sin. I have to stay away. So, thinking, okay, change your mind to go away and look towards Jesus. In Romans chapter 3, verse 23, it says this, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Because we're all sinners, we can never get to God's standards. And God is the one that sets the bar. And someone also has to pay for that sin. So it will be you or it will be Jesus. In Romans chapter 6, verse 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, if you want to accept Jesus into your heart, there is a way to do that. That is in Romans chapter 10, verse 9. that if you call and confess by your mouth Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised them from the dead thou shalt be saved and if you go all the way down to verse 13 in chapter 10 it says 
for whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, if you call upon the name of the Lord, and whoever is you or me, and confess with your, with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you shall be saved. Now, I will lead you in a sinner's prayer that will give you an idea on how to pray this thing. So, and then you can be saved yourself. So if you just bow your head and close your eyes, you can pray. Thank you, O Lord. Thank you for everything. I know I am a sinner, and I know I don't deserve your grace. But if you can accept me, and and I know you are, you are God, Jesus, please forgive me of my sins and take me up to heaven. Thank you, O Lord, for everything. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you prayed that, and you mean it with all your heart, now you are saved. I recommend you getting a King James Bible, finding a good church that only reads the King James, and continue on with your faith. Thank you for watching these videos, and have a good day.